What's up everyone, my name is Cody Engel. I am a staff software engineer that enjoys making videos about the tech industry. I am a Android engineer and so the odds of me ever working at Apple are pretty slim, but I have written some iOS apps back in the day, probably back in I think it was like iOS 5 days, so I was still working in Objective-C. Didn't really enjoy the language, but years later I've had the opportunity to learn some Swift. Every time I visit the Apple store, I will find an iPad, I will open up Swift Playgrounds, and I will type away and write some Swift stuff. And it's pretty fun. But mainly, the reason why I'm making this video is I'm just really curious what software engineers earn at Apple. So in this video, we will not only talk about the total compensation of Apple software engineers, we will also talk about the benefits that they get. The only thing that I ask before we get into this video is these take a lot of time and research to create and put together. So please just go ahead and destroy the like button down below. Go ahead and make it turn blue. Once the like button has turned blue, we can finally get started with this video. Starting off with compensation at Apple, you have the ICT2, which is a entry level engineer. If you're curious what ICT stands for, it stands for Information and Communication Technology. So these software engineers, they start off with a yearly base salary of $128,000 per year. They get a stock grant worth $24,000 per year. Now the way that stock grants work at Apple is they happen over a four year period and they vest 12.5% every six months. So in this example, you would have 24,000, multiply that out by four, which I believe would be roughly $92,000 of what you'd get in your grant and your offer letter. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments below. I'm always happy to uh, talk more and, and clear things up in the comment section. So just let me know. Going back into what a entry-level software engineer at Apple makes, they also get a bonus, which is around $16,000 per year, which gives them a total compensation of $169,000 per year. Next up, you have the ICT3, which is a software engineer. They have a yearly compensation of $147,000 as a base salary. Their stock is $49,000 per year. The bonus is $16,000 per year, which brings us to a total compensation of $214,000 per year as a software engineer at Apple. Now we have the ICT4, which is a senior software engineer. They have a base salary of $183,000 with a stock grant worth $107,000 per year. Their bonus is $26,000, which brings the total compensation to $317,000 per year as a senior software engineer at Apple. Then we have the ICT5, which is a staff software engineer. They have a base salary of $215,000 per year, a stock grant worth $192,000 per year, with a bonus of $37,000 per year which brings their total compensation to $445,000 per year. The last level that we will talk about at Apple is the ICT6, which is a principal slash distinguished software engineer. They have a base salary of $266,000 per year with a stock grant of $348,000 per year. Their bonus is worth $66,000 and that brings us to a total compensation for the year of $681,000, again, as an ICT6 software engineer at Apple. Now, let's get into the benefits that you can expect as a software engineer at Apple. They offer a 401k where they will match up to 100% of the first 6% of your base salary. This is based off of seniority, and so if you've worked for Apple for two years or less, they will match 50% up to 6%. If you've worked there between two and five years, they will match 75%. And if you've worked there for more than five years, they will give you that full 100% match. Apple also offers a Roth 401k along with a mega backdoor Roth IRA. If you have any questions about what those are, let me know in the comments below. I can do separate videos for those. They also offer a employee stock purchase program. Now, in this video, again, there's not enough time to talk about what ESPP is. That can be a video entirely on its own. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. 
But one thing to know is ESPP is really awesome. It can actually boost your salary a ton. So I would love to chat about that more. Apple also has health insurance, which they offer through uh, United Healthcare or Aetna. And you can get those with or without an HSA. If you do decide to use an HSA, they will contribute $750 per year to that. And then you get 12 days of PTO starting off at Apple. They also have two weeks of company shutdown per year and your PTO, it will actually increase by, you know, some undefined number after three years. Uh, I know that the PTO will increase, but I'm not 100% sure by what numbers it's increasing by. So if you work at Apple and would love to share that information, be sure to leave a comment down below. I would, I'd love to know. And then some other benefits that Apple offers is they have fertility assistance. So they will uh, help with freezing eggs. They also have adoption assistance. They will offer a relocation bonus. It depends on the offer, but you can generally expect that it will be a minimum of $7,000 or one month of your salary. They have gender neutral bathrooms in their offices. They have a 25% employee discount, which happens once per year. Again, with a 15% discount that is offered multiple times throughout the year. They also have a donation match. So they will match 100% of all of your charitable donations up to $10,000 each year. They will give you $25 an hour as a volunteer grant. They also have a company shuttle along with a transport allowance and you get a $250 employee credit every year along with, here's a shocker, they also have company phones that they give you. So one thing to keep in mind with everything that we talked about in this video is Apple is located in Cupertino, California. That is where their main headquarters is. And so all of these numbers that we talked about, they are more akin to that area of the world. Apple does have uh, offices in other locations, but in general, you can kind of expect that these salaries are more skewed towards California. If you live outside of California, you should look up salary information through websites like levels.fyi to really figure out what you can expect to make in your specific geographic location. And with this video, if you do have any questions at all, be sure to leave them in the comments section down below. I read every single comment that I receive. I reply to almost every single comment that I receive as well. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. Click the notification bell. You will get notified every single time that I upload a new video to this channel. And if you're checking out the comment section or you're, you're in the middle of subscribing and you notice that the like button hasn't turned blue yet, be sure to destroy it, click that, uh, it lets the YouTube algorithm know that it should recommend this video to more people. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.